In Leviticus 17, 14, we read that the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. While the majority of animals contain blood, there are a few creatures that don't. The sea sponge would be a good example. However, the passage in Leviticus speaks of the life of flesh. The sponge is an aquatic life form containing no flesh. Now, it's interesting to note that while optical effects cause our blood vessels to appear blue when seen through lightly pigmented skin, blood is typically red throughout the animal world, and it's always red in humans. But does the Bible know best? Is the life of flesh really the blood? Let's take a look at a rather recent example. Bloodletting was practiced all the way back in ancient Greece and was common practice as recently as colonial times. The average adult body contains only around 160 or 170 ounces of blood, yet it's estimated that over 125 ounces of blood was let from George Washington in the hours just before his death. When we run out of blood, we run out of life. What might seem obvious now was looked at much differently less than 200 years ago. But the Bible knows best, and the key to healthy life was spelled out for us thousands of years ago in the inspired book of Leviticus. I'm David Reeves. Truly, the heavens declare the glory of God. David is host of the television show Creation in the 21st Century, as seen on TBN every week, reaching millions of homes around the globe, welcoming the world's leading creation scientists as guests on the program. He covers all aspects of God's incredible design. Sign up for our email updates at davidreeves.com.